thank you all for joining. Thank you all who will be joining later and viewing that in the recording. Thank you all. Thank you all for the co-creation of this communication. Today, I will speak about nonviolence. I will speak about nonviolence to others. And nonviolence to yourself. which is about the same on a deep level. First thing to understand is that violence and non-violence are part of love. They are all expression of love. All expression of the same substance of the universe, the primary substance of the universe, which is love. Be aware of violence. Be aware that violence is the building block of the 3D reality. It is violent to be born here. It is violent to die here. It is violent to live through the life in the physical world. It is all part of the challenge. It's all filled with suffering. Cells, your cells die every day, every hour, every minute in your body. It is normal. Just pumping of your, of your heart, pumping of your heart is pushing force for you, pushing energy through you. It is pushing, 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 pushing. So it's all about the willpower and force. How not to be violent? And do you want not to be violent? <laughs> it's not possible to get rid of violence completely within yourself. It's a building block of you. It is a substance of yourself. It is willpower. It is your will versus environment your will versus resistance, your force versus resistance. You live through the challenges, you live through their resistance. You have to overcome barriers. It is part of life. So you have to wheel your path through, wheel yourself through. Yet, The new realization is that while you're pushing yourself through the life, you don't have to struggle. You don't have to push. There is a third way, not the way of domination, not the way of submission. There is a third way. Sometimes it is called a way of doubt. Often it is called the way of love. Often it is called the way of harmony. It can be called the way of light. It can be called God's way. What is it? You know the answer. When you are in harmony, when you are in balance, 
in the moving balance, in the dynamic balance, in the moving harmony, dynamic harmony. There is no pushing anymore. When you take on yourself a higher goal, when you take on yourself a higher mission, you can step aside and be just helper, just a helper, just a worker of light. And when you are a worker of light, you just do your job, do your work, do your play, and then the other energies, the higher energies work through you, work through your body, through your life, through your mind, harmonizing everything. So now your work is only on harmonizing, purging this harmony away from you, looking inside and working with the outside by harmonizing yourself. So instead of fight, the third chakra, instead of fight, you shift up to the heart. From the stomach, you shift up to the heart. And then you can be in love. Okay? You can be in no time space. You can be in compassion. You can be in kindness. You can step away from violence and from violence to yourself when you are in harmony. It is the third way. It is the way of love and starts with kindness. And you raise above the competition. You rise above the hierarchy. <laughs> it is a Jesus' way, the way of Jesus to rise above the hierarchy. Just stepping aside and saying, I am the lowest. I am the highest, I am everybody. I am one, I am united with everybody. I am one with you. You are me. We all are a dream of the Creator. We all are a dream of the Father. We are all a dream of the Mother. We are a dream. We are all one. We are united. We are one. You and I are of one blood. You and I are made of love. Nonviolence starts from inside. It starts from being nonviolent to yourself. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to your body. Be a gardener. Be a gardener. Do your inspired work on your body. Be kind to yourself. Even be kind to your mind. Don't struggle, relax. That's the secret. Don't struggle, relax. <laughs> relax into a higher law. Relax into a higher harmony. Do your homework, do your research, and realize the laws of higher order are in work. And it's up to you to be part of them. It's up to you to unite with them, to be a conductor, a channel of a higher law, of a higher wisdom, of a higher energy, of the higher of a higher plan. It's called God's providence sometimes. It's up to you to step into their vibration of a worker of light and become a channeler of light. It is that easy, just relax, relax, 
relax into your true self. Relax into your true mission. Relax into the work of light. That's that easy. And then next thing to realize, <laughs> there is nothing else to do outside. Nothing new to do outside. What you did before, you continue to do. You carried water and chopped wood before the enlightenment. And after the enlightenment, you continue to carry water and chop wood. It is the same work. It is the same outside expression. You do the same work before and after, yet it is inner connection, inner decision, it is a decision, inner choice to be enlightened and to be in peace, to be relaxed and to be a conduit of love. You do the same work outside, and yet there is peace inside. A word for it is equanimity, peace inside. Equanimity, peace inside. Balance, dynamic balance, dynamic peace. Now, when you are angry at somebody, reconnect to this equanimity, to this dynamic peace to this relaxation, realize it's all you, it's all God, you are made of God, and someone is made of God. It is just points of view, just perspectives, just angle of view which makes you different. It is the same love, same God, reflected differently. So now your inner work become, becomes harmonization, becomes understanding, acceptance, reuniting with everything and everybody. Yet you still carry water and chop wood, you still do your work, but you do it non-violently inside. You can pretend to be angry, but still there is peace inside. Still that understanding of a mission, understanding of a decision to be a worker of light. It's easy said, yet there is work to be done inside, inner work. And this inner work involves thinking, feeling, and what? And physiology. It is your physiology what you are working on. You are now accepting this peace, accepting re this relaxation, on the physiology level, in your stomach, in your muscles, in your joints, in your brain, in your glands, in your skin, in your hair. Every cell, every molecule, every element of yours is now being washed with the relaxation, being washed with a new decision to be in peace, being washed, being transformed. Your atoms are very dynamic. You exchange your atoms with their environment, with the earth, constantly. The water moves through you fast. The molecules, the elements move through you fast. All atoms in your body are dynamically replaced with the new atoms. Here there is a structure which holds it all together. It's a dynamic structure, which is living 
breathing, eating, releasing. So now your decision of being in peace transforms that dynamic structure. You have to accept it all on the cellular level. It's an automatic process, but it requires your intention to purify, harmonize, purify, harmonize. And ultimately, finding your unique true mission, your unique true vibration. Who are you? What is your personal purpose? What is your own personal preference? Who are you? Why are you here? You jumped here in this dream to make choices. So this decision, this self-discovery, who are you? What's your personal vibration? Is a choice. It's both a choice and discovery of something inner eternal discover something eternal by making choices it's a paradox but that's the nature of the spiritual reality to discover yourself you have to make choices and then by dancing making a dance by tango with yourself you discover who you are others help you to discover who you are. Ultimately, it's all about rediscovering yourself from the state of forgetfulness. And you do it through love, peace, relaxation, equanimity. Rediscovering yourself through love, peace, non-violence, non-violence, and equanimity. That is it. Are there any comments, questions? Just thank you very much, love, for, for sharing your information and your heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. What is on your mind? What is your excitement these days? On my mind, I have I have lived now in another country for six years, and I'm about to go back to my roots, back to my country where I come from, back to my family. And I'm very much looking forward to it. And on my mind is, is, is of course, the people that, that I have to let go in this country now. And I'm thinking about it a lot how I'm affecting them and how it's affecting me. And I only wish them the highest love. And I'm only wishing me <laughs> the highest love. And I want everyone to benefit from changes that occur. And this is to me a big change to go back to the the root country that I come from. So it's, that is on my mind, forth and back. I'm thinking about it. So if you have any thoughts or feelings about this situation, then you can share. Thank you. Thank you. Just a second.
there is a great sense of coming home. Yet when you come home, you discover that you don't you never come back. There is never in the nature of this reality, in the nature of this universe, you can never come back. <laughs> any movement any movement back is actually movement forward. It's always a spiral. What you have left when you come back, it's not the same anymore. It's not only they have changed, not only the place has changed, it's you that has changed. Yet there is a sense of recognition and the sense of rediscovering yourself anywhere. You see, this world is full of disharmony. It's full of darkness, and it's full of people who are stressed out, who choose to be stressed out. The people know much. The people have the wisdom given to them. It's all there. The words are there, but yet they prefer to make a choice to be deaf to the words of wisdom. They prefer to make a choice to ignore the beauty and to stay focused on darkness. They prefer to be stuck in their stiffness, in their struggle, in their fear, in their despair. People are in love with their despair. It feels home to them. People are all, the majority, well programmable. It is an interesting quality of Homo sapiens to be easily trained, easily programmable, easily brainwashed. But yet there are individual choices. Yet everyone chooses for themselves. Everyone is separate. And yet everyone is affected by the collective. It is an intricate network, intric intricate organism of collective delusion. The God is near the divine is near, the angelic is near. You are divine, everyone is divine. Yet people make individual choices to stay in despair. From here, from, from outside of this dimension, from the spirit dimension, it looks beautiful Yet, when you dive in, there is despair. When you dive in into the 3D reality, there is darkness, sadness, and despair. We tell you, we ask you, please choose love, please choose light, please be enlightened. You have all the enlightenment, all the energy in your hands. Why do you close up? Why do you choose despair? What's wrong with you? Homo sapiens, every one of you is beautiful. Every one of you is loved. You are love, you are made of God. Why do you stay in despair? Yet these are individual choices which we respect. It makes the game challenging. It makes their enlightenment more valuable. Among 
billions of you, there are individuals who awaken. There are individuals who discover themselves, discover light within themselves, and choose the positivity, choose to awaken, choose to fire up, choose to be with God. It's a choice, and this choice is so valuable because it's so rare. So what is here for you is the same thing, just accepting, accepting the reality and serving as beacons of light, as carriers of light, as workers of light down on the ground and bringing the light to others in a language that they can understand, in a vibration that is, which is understandable for them. Since they are deaf to our voice, since they don't hear the spirit, it is through you that we speak to them. So you are our dinner channels. You are the workers of light, our channels to speak up the truth and to bring in the enlightenment in a language which is understandable to the others, which is understandable to people in despair. Tell them it's up to them to turn to the light and to heal themselves. It is possible. It is them that create the despair in the first place. They are not victims. They are not victims. No one is a victim. It's just their training, their choices that made them stuck, that brought them to the stuckness, that brought them to the dead end. There is a way out of the dead end. Yes. So carry this message. There is a way out. There is a way of awakening. Ultimately, it is just an experience. And uh, it is a collective choice to heal the planet, heal the collective, heal the collective, heal the collective spirit, heal the collective illusion, and turn it to the better. It is a collective dream, and it is a collective choice how to play out this dream. And we respect this choice and send our love to help you to awaken. It's all about awakening. Thank you for the prompt. Anything else? I should bring up the importance of sexual energy. The sexual energy and violence have common components. It is well known to your science. The desire to live, the willpower, intertwines with the sexual energy and intertwines with violence. To separate those, it takes culture. It takes spiritual maturity to be able to separate and then be, to, to remain energized, to develop your willpower 
to remain in healthy sexual energy state and yet not to be engaged in violence. At the lower level of existence, it's all mixed up together. Often, not always, often. But yet, when you grow up, you separate the three, the willpower, the sexual energy, and violence or non-violence. So choosing non-violence may inhibit you first until you are able, until you learn to filter out, filter out your desire, filter out your life force, filter out your willpower while still being peace and remaining nonviolent in your inner self. It's not about repressing your violent emotion. It's not about repression. It is about culturing it. It's about culture. It is about culture. It is about understanding how your inner workings work. It's about the learning. You have to learn yourself. You have to study yourself. You do your whole work. You dive into yourself and understand why the violence is part of you and what to do with it. It is a program. Part of this program is genetic. Part of the program you carry spiritually from the past lives. And much of the program is cultural. You learn it, you learn your violence from your parents. Withdrawal from your milking breast of your mother is a violent act. Changing your diapers is a violent act. Forcing you to sleep and waking you up is a violent act. You learn it from first days of your life. Being separated from your mother is a violent act. Until, until that, you are one with everybody. You are your soul united and unified. But then the trauma of physical life brings violence to your existence. And you reflect it naturally from the first days or even sometimes from their time before birth in the womb of the mother. The physicality is violent in its nature. Yet, it is possible to withdraw from this violence, accept the natural part of it, but withdraw your will from this violence, withdraw, withdraw your grace from this violence. You can separate your mind, your soul, your emotions from this violence. You don't have to be it. You can rise above it. In the Kirden Garden, in relations to people, you have been trained really well to respond with violence to violence. You don't have to anymore. First, you start from your inner equanimity, inner peace, and then work through your physiology, your work through your senses and system of values to reevaluate your relationship to violence. Reevaluate. Do you have to still remain in the world of? Violence, do you still have to remain in the world of automatic responses with violence to violence? Are there any other ways? Every time you face the violence within yourself, every time you face the violence 
in your relationship, in the news. Hmm. The news are made of violence because it's consumption. It is something which is made into the consumption product. The news are saturated with violence because that is what sells in the Western world and in the Eastern world, in the modern world. The news are saturated with violence because people buy it, people pay for violence. It is something that makes them energized. It is something that feels energizing to them. It is a plague, a sickness of the society. It is a sickness of the culture. It is obvious to us and it is obvious to many of you. It is sickness to be immersed in violence and buy more of it. Learn to filter it out and learn to heal it. You don't have to be avoiding it completely. Once you are in a choice, once, once you have made a choice to stay in peace, then you can deal with violence as a healer. You work with it by healing it, by transforming the hatred into love. It is a work, but that is what you are good at, to transform the hatred into love. That's the choice and the work, and that's what you are good at. You are good in transformation. Transform it in yourself, the fear, the pain, the hatred, the sickness into love, into harmony. And then help others to transform it as well. The world doesn't have to be violent. <coughs> Yay, Marian. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Can you hear me? Yes, you're good. Oh, okay. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you for joining. The topic of today is nonviolence and oh. peace and equanimity. Equanimity. What did you bring today? What's your excitement of last few moments? Um, well, it's really windy outside where I live, but I feel very peaceful inside, you know, very peaceful. Yes, the planet is in turmoil. It is just the beginning. There are waves coming. That's, that wind is just a predecessor, a sign of bigger winds coming. It is, the world is manifesting a bigger change to smaller changes. So these are ripple waves of something in the future. It's not clear what it is because it is in the future, but the system is utterly unstable. It is utterly explosive. <laughs> Everyone recognizes that. You don't have to be a spirit you don't have to be wise to recognize that the system is unstable. The system is in a crisis, but yet before the big change. It is just the small processes are already starting. We don't see what is starting the processes, but it is the future which ripples into the past. Your future ripples into your present. So the wind is a symbol of the ripples, the waves, the smaller waves which come from the future, signifying the change is coming. Take it easy, it is your time coming. Now yeah. you are in stagnation and crisis, but when the change is coming, it is when you will be flowering. Great. Well, I've been going on some missions in the astral, I think. <laughs> I was with a group of people and I don't know who they were, but I know I was with several people and it felt like we were rescuing people, you know, beings. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's the violence, the wrestling, the competition, the fight. 
is something in the air, something in the spirit, which is, again, the ripples from the future. It is a training for you and a test. It is a training and a test. What do you do? And also it is the shadows of the past coming to the surface. Mm -hmm. The future shadows are attracted to shadows in the past and meet in your dreams. Mm. It is for you to exercise who you are and to make choices in your dreams first before you make choices in your conscious mind in their an awakened mind first it happens in a dream state and what happens in a dream is as important and surprise it's even bigger <laughs> more complex and bigger than what you have in the physical it's not something to be neglected the dream life is as complex as a, an awakened life it is the world in itself. You don't remember much of it because it is in a different language. It is not translatable to the awakened language. It is something which cannot be translated. It is multidimensional and other dimensional. It is in perpendicular reality, which has very little to be translated into the physical. It's a life, the world of its own. Yeah, it's experiential. Absolutely. I feel it's real. Can I share a dream I had a couple weeks yes, ago? Yes, please. Yes. Okay. And I believe it was real. Um, but anyway, uh, but it was very unique, you know, different scenes happened very quickly. So I was in a store. I found this person's wallet or their purse. So I brought it into the store and I gave it to this person. And then I walked out of the store. So I was doing a good deed, right? <clears throat> and I walked out of the store and boom, now I'm back in the time of Jesus and someone like Jesus, he looks very like Jesus is healing people and he's hitting people in their spiritual eye and he's going boom. So he hit my spiritual eye and he said, Palladian Jewish, Palladian Jewish. He was hitting a lot of them saying they were Palladian, but also Jewish. And then I saw he continued walking and he had a small crowd of people around him. Not very many. And I tapped him on the shoulder because I really wanted a healing from him. Another healing that was amazing right there to give me that knowledge that I was Palladian. I came from Palladies at one part of my life. And also I was Jewish because I know I was with him. <clears throat> anyway, so then um, what happened next was he hit me he from behind he didn't hit me but he touched me from behind down my spine a lot of work on my lower spine and i've been having a sciatic nerve you know problem it flares up and it hurts so he hit me and he worked on that area and i went entirely up my spine as i lay in bed right this all is going on you know i'm laying in bed and uh, when i uh, came out of that state I could still feel his, his touch on my body. And my body was very, very hot up and down my spine and right there where it used to hurt, you know, the, <clears throat> anyway, so I said, wow, what a healing that was. And I said to myself, was that Jesus or was that someone else? <clears throat> but he was a healer and he had dark skin. Wow. Uh, tall and it looked like he was in his 20s or early 30s he was very very well very well you know everybody just loved him you know so who was that and the answer is yes and no it was another embodiment of jesus jesus yeshua had the life as yeshua the body of yeshua but he was in many places at the same time. So the same energy, but a different body. Okay. And the name comes Simeon, Simeon, but it is the same energy. So it is yes, Jesus energy, but no, not Jesus body. Okay. And yes, Pleiadian, 
<laughs> he has Jewish in terms of spirit, the spirit, the spirit experience, the the vibration, uh, the soul group. Yes, mm -hmm. it's Pleiadian Jewish soul group. Okay. Related to Yael idea. Okay. <clears throat> Very exciting. Good yeah. feeling. Yeah. Uh, remember that. Remember this energy. You are now, you have a download of this program. So it's easier for you to receive it again whenever you need it because it is initiated now. Keep it going. Keep the program of healing going and restart it whenever you can. It is not something you have to wait. It is something which is within you now. It's downloaded. It is there. It is just a vibration, a complex, very complex vibration, but it is for you to initiate at any time which you are ready. Okay, thank you. And uh, as you pronounce that dream, that sequence of steps, starting from finding the wallet, would be your path to get into that vibration. Okay. So it is the sequence, especially for you, the entrance. Mm -hmm. It's like getting a key. The wallet is the key. A token. Mm -hmm. Very exciting. It's an upgrade. Yeah, I feel like I'm very being guided <laughs> by <clears throat> that soul group for sure. And Yeshua Sananda. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nice sharing, nice upgrade. How is your relationship to violence and violence to yourself and non-violence and non-violence to yourself? <clears throat> Well, I've never been a violent, I mean, you know, considered myself violent outside, you know, hurting things. <clears throat> Do no harm has been a part of me for a long time as far as in physicality. Um, uh, however, the thoughts are, sometimes the thoughts to myself haven't been very nice. Um, so, you know, I work on that. Any negativity, letting it go. So I have less of that, hardly any negativity and thoughts. Um, but I know as we go on up in vibration and consciousness, it's extremely important to hold the positive and um, a peaceful, the unity, consciousness. It is important to develop your willpower. Your willpower is necessary for their energy work. It is necessary for your healing work. It is necessary for the work on the energetic grid of the earth. Your willpower is essential. And there is a very slight distinction between impressing your will on the reality and be violent to the reality. It is very similar concept, your will and violence. The difference is in subtle aspects of your attitude, in grace with which that will is impressed on the reality. It is 
in the difference is in inner peace it's more like inner vibration rather than outer vibration first mm -hmm. it is when you act because your ego wants it versus when you realize it's good for others it is the realization that you are doing the work of light that's the realization the inner peace the inner equanimity that makes the difference and makes a huge difference and also the style with which you impress your will on the on the universe the style could be more gracious and, or more clumsy clumsy is violence and gracious is work of light it is the harmony in which you are inside and the harmony which you bring to the world which which both harmonies are linked together very tightly so when you work in a harmony in a way of Tao, in inner peace in inner harmony with the spirit it is the results are very positive the results are non-traumatic the results are enlightening it's all about the results the inner state transforms in the positive results inner peace transforms in the positive outcome and the opposite is the inner disharmony inner self trickery inner self deception inner realization that you are working from selfish motives <clears throat> results in outside disharmony outside pain outside lowering of the vibration fall the vibration falling down so that's a subtle difference mm -hmm. thank you you get your sensation of where you are through physiology through the pains through distress through problems with breathing digestion indigestion headaches and so on so it's all about self-healing harmonizing your physiology and as you harmonize your physiology the outside world reflects your harmonious state inner pain reflects in the outside world inner is primary outside is secondary all right i will start the guided meditation and after that i will exit relax are there any other questions anybody any urgent questions before I start? Thank you. Relax. Sit comfortable or comfortably or lay down comfortably. Let things go. Relax. Prepare for 15 minutes or 15 to 20 minutes of meditation, whatever it is, 10 to 20 minutes. Um no no Keep breathing consciously and easily, deeply, slower than usual, deeper consciously at your own timing. Breathe easily. Relax. Relaxation is the key. Relax into inner peace, into knowing, inner knowing and inner harmony inner true self harmony there is a vibration within you connect to it you are your soul 
relax to be in your soul. I relax into silence. Silence is so rare these days. Silence is one of the most beautiful manifestations of peace. So I will give you a few seconds of silence so you can carry it with you. Silence will be in a second. Um. Connect to the idea of the ocean. Realize all the human suffering, all the human despair, all the human depression, fight, exists on the land. The ocean is still at peace. The ocean is bigger than the land. The ocean has life in it. Dolphins, whales, fish, plants. It is big. It is still there. It is still governed by the laws of nature. It is still natural, providing the oxygen and the fresh water and the clouds and the rains. The ocean is still in, in charge of the climate. The ocean is conscious, it's alive. As the earth is alive, the ocean is alive. It has its own vibration, its own streams, its own life. Connect with it, you're part of it. You are just drop drops of the ocean. <sighs> You are part of nature. You are part of a living organism of earth. You are part of a living organism of consciousness of the ocean. You are one with life on earth. You are one with plants. You are one with fish. You are one with water. Um, <laughs> You are made of light, the light shining from the sun, the energy of earth, the energy of life on earth is a mixture, a breed of energy of the sun and energy of earth. The energy of Earth comes through molecules and atoms and electrons. Earth gives the substance. Earth provides the soil, the substance, the matter. And the light from the sun provides the energy, provides the vibration, the initiative, the fire. So the fire comes from the sun. The air comes from the atmosphere. The water comes from the ocean and all the rest of the elements come from earth. You're one with fire. You're one with water. You're one with earth. You're one with air. And you are made of spirit. Um, um, 
you are dreaming a dream of physical life and all the elements are elements of this dream they're given to you to build your dream it's a gift it's a gift this life is short but it is full of beauty full of choices and full of opportunities take it as is and grow in it Allah 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 take it as is and grow in it take it as is and grow in it Allah 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 Focus on your root chakra Allah 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 Connect to the earth Allah 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 Pay attention to your stomach, to your digestion, to your intestines. Allah, 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 Allah. This is where the physiology works on your water and earth relationship. The intestines is where the water and earth meet and become part of you. Allah, Allah. That's the point of acceptance. That's the volume of acceptance that the space of acceptance that's where you accept the water that's where you accept the earth Allah, 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 Allah. move your palms place them on the stomach and intestines and be there be it it is where the action is Allah, 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 Allah. Digestion is highly spiritual. That is the place where inner peace starts, where it is living. It is a place of residence of inner peace, your intestines and stomach. It's also in your heart, it's also in every chakra. But the place of your digestion, the space of your digestion is where you work on your violence, where you convert your violence into love bring your digestion in harmony with heart It is about the harmony, about the music, about the sound of harmonizing your digestion with your heart. Digest consciously and consciously pump your blood and pump the energy through your body, through your heart. Conscious heart work and conscious digestion are the path to nonviolence, the path to inner peace, a path to equanimity, and a path to path to enlightenment. Digestion is conscious digestion is a path to enlightenment. Allah 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 
be connected to God through your stomach. God is everywhere, outside, inside, even in vacuum, there is God. Even in vacuum, there is divine presence, divine motherly, fatherly presence. And digestion is a part where you convert your struggle into peace, your violence into love, your violence to others and violence to self, you converted it to inner peace and balance. I am I am don't forget to remain alive don't forget to remain changeable, vulnerable, open to outside influences. Your inner strength is tested by your ability to change yourself. It's not only how you push your will on the outside world. It's not only how you manifest. It's how you listen, how you accept, and transform yourself in response to outside reality. It's all one, your part of the outside world. And as outside dream world changes, don't forget to change yourself. It's all about being united organism, united living body with the outside universe. Be vulnerable, be changeable, be sensitive, remain sensitive. Nonviolence starts with allowing yourself to be vulnerable. Don't push away the depression. Don't push away the pain. Don't push away the sadness. It's all part of the experience, all part of life. And it all starts with your digestion, your intestines, your stomach. I connect with you through the energies of healing. I connect with you with energies of vulnerability. And vulnerability is healing. Tenderness is healing. Tenderness, vulnerability is the beginning of healing. It's the beginning of, of melting. Sadness and crying is the doorway to health. To be strong, you have to be changeable, malleable, vulnerable, tender. That's the inner strength. That's the true strength. It is the true connection to their spiritual strength, to the divine energy. Melt yourself, become fluid. Arahamma, <laughs> 
And with your lungs, with your nose, with your throat, connect to the air energy. It is freedom. It is part of real union. It is it is the part of fire. Combining all elements with air makes fire. And fire is you. Fire is the spirit. Fire is the manifestation of God in the universe. Um, keep breathing consciously. Keep digesting consciously. Combining this the conscious breathing, conscious heart work, and conscious digestion is the path to awakening, is a part, is a path to true strength. Tenderness is the true strength. Nonviolence starts with crying, starts with tenderness, starts with being open. Be open to yourself. And smile, and smile, because it's all a game, and it is your choice to take it easy. The smile unites you. The smile unites the sadness with their harmony. Don't take yourself too seriously. That is the strength of enlightenment. Don't take yourself too seriously. It is the path to awakening. Allah, 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 Allah. This physical reality is a joke of the Creator. Allah, 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 Allah. Take it as is. <laughs> it is sold as is, all in one package. Take it with humor. Allah, 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 Allah. Only with humor you can see the harmony. Allah, 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 Allah. You are a joke of a creator. Allah, 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 Allah. Awaken to your true nature. Allah, 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 Allah. So when you smile, it is real you. Allah, 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 Allah. When you laugh, ha, 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 is a vibration of the divine laughter. It is the true vibration of the Creator. Allah, 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 Allah. You are a wave. You are a sine wave. You are a beautiful, multidimensional, complex, sacred, geometric wave. Allah, 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 Allah. You are a laughter of the Creator. Allah, 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 Allah. Umma naruma, ruma Keep breathing. Keep keep holding this realization. Keep breathing and keep that inner peace, inner realization. It is not simple, and it is simple. It is not complex, and it is complex. It is union, union of the alternatives, union of you and the universe, union of matter and spirit, union of water, soil, 
air and fire and the spirit. You are one, you are united, and you are all meeting in your body. You are a meeting place. Hold this realization, hold this union, and keep it with you in your daily life and your nightly life. Keep it with you when you are awake and when you are asleep. Keep your health, keep your awakening to healthy state. Keep it with you when you come back to the awakened state. Keep your health. Keep your dynamic balance. Allah. Welcome to true you. Welcome home. Allah. 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 I will disconnect now. And I invite you to stay in that space of peace, inner realization, inner harmony, inner love. Allah, um, 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 um. Be in peace.